were really active and Weekly Lost Monuments will probably recognize them all as uh, being the finalists for this year. Um, not sure what's going to be the winning picture. There's uh, a lot of chatter on the jury mailing list about what's the best or even better, but uh, you get the picture of what it is. Uh, we started this uh, in the Netherlands with Rijksmonumenten, buildings, structures, about 60,000 in the Netherlands, old country, so we have a lot. We uh, got lists from the Rijksdienst for Cultural Erfgoed. We put them on Wikipedia by municipality or by region or by here in Amsterdam. There were so many of them, so we ended up doing them by neighborhood or part of, our, of neighborhood to be able to handle them. So uh, the photo competition is one month only, September. It's really focused about uh, around that month because with your uh, communication to the outside world, it's much easier to focus your attention on one month and spreading it out. People are doing other things and they might forget about it and oh, I'll do it next week, I'll do it next and now we're focused on the month. It's really a community project. We we have some, uh, we have a lot of people here who worked on organizing it, but the largest group of people actually doing things are the online people, the people working on Wikipedia. Um, we wanted to make an easy upload, comments is really difficult. Rem remember the upload form we had like two years ago? With uh, like 30 options, you could set uh, own work or this or that. It was really complicated, so one of the goals was to make it easy so we can get new users in. And uh, to give a good overview of our heritage, in, for our case in the Netherlands, but of course worldwide. So this is uh, the results for last year. So we had 250 participants, 8,000 unique monuments and 12, 000, more than 12,000 photos. More important, the Dutch cultural sector, uh, the museums already knew us from Wikilos Art, but now uh, we also had contacts in the more the heritage sector. So opening doors for next year. So these are some of the Dutch winning photos. I'll remove that one. Uh, so we did it uh, this year, and these were the goals. Freely licensed photos, get people familiar with co uh, comments, uh, improve and facilitate the heritage projects and uh, connect on one side the online world so the people, people added in Wikipedia with uh, offline so going out in the photo co competition or um, expedition or <coughs> just give people face just like here we're gathering offline not on Wikipedia although most people seem to be editing right now <laughs> yes. and uh, some additional uh, goals of course uh, making people aware of the fact that Wikipedia can be edited. Uh, capacity community, let's go to the results. Um, these are the five things that build the whole project. Easy to participate, attractive, nearby. So, we ended up with 18 countries. And these are the results. We, uh, I don't think we have published them yet. So we compared the goals with the results. So we have lots of freely licensed photos. We are uh, about 4,000 new users. If you take a look at the report card, you'll see a big spike at the community for Commons. Commons is actually now the second largest community when it comes to active editors. Um, and we had a lot, a lot of local events scattered out Europe. Could have been a lot more. And other things are a bit more difficult to measure. Uh, Wikipedia is editable. editable. Um, we did a survey, a lot of people filled it out, I think about 700 people filled it out. And a lot of people were positive that they were going to edit Wikipedia, so new users, we might have attracted some. Um, we got a lot of context in the European heritage world, so there's some names over there. And uh, international cooperation, I think when I made this, uh, we had like 1,700 emails. I think it's now over 2,000. Two and a half. Two and a half thousand. Uh, Thomas read all of them this week. So we're, we're really working together to get this done. And uh, this is more for next year. A lot of interest from other countries. So we're doing it again in 2012. Uh, and we're going to talk this afternoon about how we're going to do that. So, thank you very much and I hope to see you this afternoon.